dedicated to empowering you with information to make positive choices and be advocates for your overall well-being. Welcome to The Health View. Welcome to The Health View. I'm Yvonne Dunnitz, and today we're going to be talking about the Adult Learning Center with their Executive Director, Carol Baldwin. Carol, it's a delight to have you here today. I wanted to ask you, related to the history of the Adult Learning Center, if you could share with us the wonderful information about what has brought you to this time now here as far as your services. Certainly. Um, first, I want to thank you very much for having me on your program. Opportunities for nonprofits to showcase their work are um, critical, very important. They are. The Adult Learning Center is a very old organization. We were founded in 1972, and I am only the third executive director. The first one was Dottie Oliver, the second one was Mary Jordan, and then I've now been here since June of 2014. In, um, we started in a church basement on Main Street um, way back in the 1970s, and in 1986 we were fortunate that the city sold us the building that we currently reside in at Four Lake Street. It had been the Crowley Elementary School, and it had been empty since the mid-70s, and the city sold it to the Adult Learning Center, and that has contributed to us being the largest adult ed program in the state of New Hampshire. Not having to move, people knowing where we are has facilitated our growth, and it's a result of us owning that building. And who do you service? All of the greater Nashua area? We service Nashua and surrounding communities. Which are those communities? Um, Nashua, Merrimack, Hudson, Litchfield, Hollis, and recently um, Mont Vernon and Wilton Lineborough. Although anybody that can drive to our center is welcome to our services. And do you have just the one for Lake Street, or do you have more than that facility where you're actually delivering services? Good question. When I tell people we serve 3,000 clients a year, the next question is, out of that one building? Yeah. Um, no, we are fortunate that we also have a facility at 40 Arlington Street, and that's Clareway High School. And then we operate in elementary schools ele uh, in Nashua and the surrounding towns as well. And we are moving into a satellite program in Manchester in January. Really? Mm -hmm. And what will be in that situation? We then? are bringing a high set program to Manchester that's um, formally called the GED so that people who need to get that high school credential will have a place to, to study and take the exam. You know, it would be interesting, related to the Adult Learning Center's name is Adult Learning mm -hmm. Center. Has it always just uh, given services to adults, or I know that you also service children. When did all of that happen? That's a great question. We actually started out in 1972 as a GED program for moms. Um, Dottie Oliver found that a lot of young women were dropping out of high school and having children and she was very concerned about their financial futures. And She realized that they needed to get their um, high school diploma. So she brought in um, child care um, people and teachers so that these moms could study to get their GED. And that mission has actually continued to this day. Since then, we've evolved to meet the needs of the community. But we recognized last year, as a matter of fact, that Adult Learning Center um, didn't really reflect what we do, but we also didn't want to lose any of our recognition in the city. So um, with a team of people and some um, marketing experts, we chose to uh, rebrand and our new logo, ALC, with the words Learn, Grow, Thrive, we feel covers everything that we do from six weeks to into your 70s. Well, let's talk about that. So it's at six weeks old, you yes. begin taking care of children. We do. We can take children um, starting at six weeks in our Early Childhood Adventures program. It's our on-site child care facility at Four Lake Street. We're very proud of being NAEYC accredited. Which means? National Ed 
National Association for the Education of Young Children. It's the highest accreditation that any child care facility can have. There are only six accredited centers in the city of Nashua, and we are the only nonprofit. It means we adhere to a very strict curriculum. We are all about instilling um, quality learning opportunities um, for children, growth and development. Can anyone attend your programs? Yes. Yes, we um, accept what's called the state child care tuition subsidy. So we often have um, low-income parents that, and their tuition um, is partially subsidized by the state, but we also have a nice mix of um, full-fee parents. So we take all socioeconomic um, levels, um, all children, um, no matter what their background. And how does one register and try to get involved in that program? Uh, that you can call the Adult Learning Center at any time, 882-9080. Just ask for child care and you will be connected and given a registration packet and then you can take a tour. And we maintain a very tight ratio of, a low ratio of staff to children. So sometimes there is a waiting list. Our infant room tends to be full. We can accept 10 infants, but as the infants grow, they then move into the next room and then the next room. So depending on, um, we may have openings in certain rooms. We may have to put you on a wait list in other rooms. And how many children do you service? 60. 60? Yes. And the ratio is uh, more at the younger ages um, actually, uh, we will take, in, in our infant room, we have 10 infants. We will always have two adults. Okay. And we always have a minimum of two adults in each room. And you have the equipment and the staffing and everything that you need to provide them an excellent program. We do. And the charges related to that? It's not a free program. No, so, no, I wish it were. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, and, and um, child care is, um, it, it is the program that I worry worry the most about. The true cost of caring for a child, providing staff, all our staff have development hours, they're fully trained. Um, so it, it's, it's, we are among the lower cost child care centers, but we offer um, top quality care. That's wonderful. And then, of course, you have the Early Child Adventures program. Yes, yes. And what is that about? So um, That's a we, different age group, it right? It is. Um, so our Early Childhood Adventures, our child care, goes from six weeks mm -hmm. to pre-kindergarten. Then we provide on-site before and or after school care at elementary schools in Nashua and surrounding towns. So that 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock in the morning before school starts, children can be dropped off, they'll be given a meal, they'll be cared for until school starts. And then at the end of the day, that 3 o'clock or from dismissal time, 2.45 to 6 o'clock, again, children can be cared for on site at their schools. We have all kinds of activities. Usually the care takes place in a cafeteria or the gymnasium. So you're staffing it within the schools themselves? Yes, we are. So parents are dropping them yes. off there, mm -hmm. and instead of them having to take a bus, uh, whatever, right. they go to stay after school. And yes. That is a wonderful service to the community. We are fully licensed by the New Hampshire um, Child Care Licensing Bureau. All of our staff are required to have a certain number of development hours each and every year. I think it's about 18 depending on the position, whether you are a director or, or um, whatnot, all our staff are CPR trained. They're trained in first aid. They're trained in how to use an AED. They're trained in child development. Many of them are actually um, uh, teachers or paraprofessionals who are already working at the school, and they're extending their day by working for us. And is there a cost to the parents for that program? Yes, there is. However, there is also funding through DHHS, and a phone call to our office will help put parents in touch with that. The beauty of that program is children can come um, every day or only on the days that they're needed. Maybe you need it only in the morning. Maybe you need it only in the afternoon. We will accommodate you. Wonderful. And then the next great <laughs> age group, is that going into Clearway? Or? Yes. Thank you for asking about that. So Clearway High School is an alternative high school. Explain alternative. What does that mean? Um, so 
Our local high schools are wonderful schools, Nashua High North and Nashua High South. I graduated from South myself and navigated it just fine, as did my sister and my brother. But that's not the case for some teenagers. The schools are large. Some children are um, teenagers, I should say. They're um, shy. They're uncomfortable in a large setting. Maybe they've never really been successful. And rather than have them drop out, we have contracts with the city of Nashua and a guidance counselor can make a referral to Clearway High School. And the difference is it's a shorter day. School starts at 9.45, goes to 2 o'clock. There are no frills. There is, um, you're there to, to learn. It's a very small environment. Classes are about 8 to 10 um, students. That's the ratio teacher to student. They can earn a um, New Hampshire High School diploma. And it's just an opportunity to, to be successful. And then you have the adult education program. Yes. <laughs> now, do some of the students from Clearway end up going into yes. the adult education program? Absolutely. Sometimes what happens to students is by the time they get to Clearway High School, they could be 17 years old and not have a, um, accrued enough credits. So what they will do is they'll take the same classes, study the same curriculum, but rather than try to stay until they have all the credits, they will then come to the adult learning center and take the high set exam. If they're not successful with the high set exam, because it is a very difficult exam, and these the days. purpose of the high set exam, that took the place of the GED. It's the formal. Glad you asked that. Um, it used to be a general education diploma. Now it's called a high school equivalency test, and that's the high set. It's a very difficult exam. So we offer courses at our Four Lake Street to study to prepare for the exam. Very good. And do you assist students? after that if they want to continue their education or go into training in a specific area to help them or get a position, a job in those areas for them? Absolutely. I think one of our strongest partnerships is with the Nashua Community College. We actually have an office on their campus um, and part of that is just to, to form that bridge to help our students get to the community college, to put them in touch, um, to get, we give them tours. We also teach some of the lower level classes at NCC. If a student takes the exam and maybe they're not quite ready to take a college level math class, we offer a math class to prepare them for that on the campus of National Community College. Very good. And from an adult education perspective, mm -hmm. what are you teaching there and how are you servicing adults? So um, we teach English. Last year, in the last school year, we had 1,400 immigrants and refugees take classes at our center um, from, and they came from 76 different countries. Wow. We run six levels of ESL classes every morning and every night. In the morning, they're from 9 to 12. In the evening, they're from 6 to 9. Um, Monday, Wednesday, Friday mornings, we have lower level students because they need more hours. And then Tuesday, Thursday, we have higher level students. Um, we teach every, um, every level, every ability. Sometimes we have refugees who come to us that have not even had an opportunity to be educated in their own country. So obviously they have to start at a lower level. But then from many other countries, um, they're already um, fairly proficient in English. So along with teaching them English, though, we're also teaching them how to navigate our community. We have a counselor who will work with them on anything from how to get a job, how to apply for a social security card, how to use the bus system. Very good. What a service. Now, what are you most proud of within your organization? Oh, wow. Um, what the the work that we do what I am most proud of is the people that uh, is our employees they're the most amazing people I have ever worked with in my entire career um, they're dedicated they love what they do they work really really hard um, we keep a very happy bright bubbly welcoming place that's fantastic and I understand that you have a greenhouse and a gardening program at the adult learning center we do that's one of my favorite programs so um, Mary Jordan my predecessor was able to obtain a grant from Oracle. Um, partnerships with local businesses are really important. And Mary was able to get the grant and then she retired and I came on board just in time to purchase the greenhouse, get the permits from the city, and get it installed in our schoolyard. And then Jane Marquis, our director, took over and it's been a wonderful initiative. She, they, the children start in the spring. They start with their seeds. They 
plant the dirt in the cups and then as the plants grow by or late spring they move them into the greenhouse and then some plants are then moved into outside gardens and the children really really love it they love to water their plants they love to see them grow and then they like to harvest their 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 fruits and veg mostly vegetables this year we harvested carrots zucchini and green peppers and so they're learning about food to table and they the importance are. of good nutrition mm -hmm. and all the facets of growth. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Do the adults have the opportunity at all to get involved with well, that horticultural do. They do. Yes, the parents in our child care center. We also run a monthly support group with someone that I believe you know, Dr. Ben Garber. Of course. He's wonderful. Ben comes every month and he participates in our family support group. Yes. It always starts with a meal and then afterwards there's a program and an opportunity to discuss discuss parenting issues with Ben. Um, this fall they had a harvest supper where they brought their vegetables and the children were the ones that had cleaned the vegetables and um, cut them up and spread them on platters with um, they, they were taught how to make dips and those were served at the family dinner. Very nice and you have a number of collaboration <laughs> partners within the community that you work with that help you to be successful at what you do. Who are some of them? Oh, we do. Um, that's one of the great things about Nashua. It's so collaborative. Um, one partnership that we have is with the Front Door Agency. Often their moms, they, they take in moms and get them um, help getting educated. The children will often be in our child care center while the moms are in school. Um, Another partnership that we have is with um, Symphony New Hampshire. Um, their executive director, Mark Thayer, he came to the Adult Learning Center about two years ago. And he made me, at least, maybe our teachers were aware, but I never thought about what our immigrants and refugees might have left behind in terms of instruments, yes. skills. And so he started talking to me about the importance of music um, worldwide and how it's a great, um, it's something that can bring people together. And as a result, we've had some concerts in our gym. Um, we've had some events in our classroom. Mark has come and played his violin and that, that's just one of them. That's a very special partnership. It's a wonderful <laughs> experience. It truly is. So if you were to summarize the most important information you would want people <clears throat> to know about the Adult Learning Center, what would it be? I want people to know that we are very welcoming. Welcoming People can come by any time that we are there, Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, and just, just show up and ask the question. We'll point you in the right direction, and we'll get you what you need. And is there a website mm -hmm. people can go to? There is a website. You can see us on www.adultlearningcenter.org. And the phone number that they can call if they have any questions? Certainly, 882-9080. That's wonderful. Now, <coughs> everyone will have an opportunity to see a wonderful video that you are rolling out yes. right now, mm -hmm. and that is about your early childhood yes. program. Tell us a little bit about that that you want, because that is an exciting uh, video. It is. I We wanted people to see that child care is not just about the care. It's about the whole child. It's about development. It's about proper nutrition. It's about um, giving children opportunities to learn and to grow outside, inside. It's about the importance of play. These days, um, there's a lot of talk about adverse childhood experiences. Yeah. They're, ex well, you, you know, um, uh, experiences that can um, impact children, but there are measures that um, can be taken to counteract those experiences. Our teachers are all designed to recognize adverse childhood experiences, bring them to the attention of parents, and also um, help children work their way through these. Um, play is a big way that children can work through um, adverse childhood experiences. And it's wonderful that the Adult Learning Center is, or the ALC, which yes. is your new branding <laughs> for it, is located at, right next to Rotary Common, where we have the Reflection Garden and Labyrinth and the Gallery at the Wall. Does your clientele utilize those oh, yeah. facilities? Oh yeah, we um, <clears throat> in our we're rolling out a new website. In our new website, one of the main pictures that we have is a great picture of a group of our students um, walking the labyrinth. They they um, love to do that, particularly in the spring and summertime. Yes. Um, our students do use Rotary Park a lot, and um, we are involved in the gallery at the wall. The art. Um, contest that's going on in the city yeah. and we're very hopeful that we will um, 
have some pieces of art from our children and from our teenagers and from our adults. And, and we're very much looking forward to that event in the spring. And that gallery rotates <laughs> every two yeah. years, so it gives an opportunity, and this upcoming one is to highlight children and their mm -hmm. view of diversity and culture and mm -hmm. seeing the city of Nashua in their eyes. So we're delighted that you'll be participating in that. So I invite the viewers now, before we conclude our program, to see this wonderful video that is just rolling out from the Adult Learning Center about their childhood mm -hmm. care program. Mm -hmm. And we invite you to continue to come back to the Health You to learn about other organizations that are making a difference because you are most certainly making a difference in our community and we greatly appreciate it. Until next time. Thank you.